Hey, I'm Valentin, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a web server on, uh, on the Raspberry Pi 2. The first thing you have to do is go to the Raspberry website to download uh, a Raspbian image. Uh, you can access the download section and select Raspbian and download Jesse because we want to run the latest PHP version. You can't do that with the Wheezy version for some reason. So you can download it. I did it before the recording, so it's already here in my download folder. Uh, next thing we want to do is to copy and install the files on the SD. To do so, uh, just follow the instruction available on the website. Uh, I run a Mac, so I want the OS X instruction. Uh, you have a graphical uh, interface, but I'm just going to use the command line, which is very uh, easy and convenient. So you gotta first check where is your SD card and it's not here uh, because I didn't connect my card I'm gonna just connect it you're gonna see it on the device list here it is so I'm gonna check again the list of my disk and the disk number is the number two so we gotta unmount the disk number two you can just copy the lines available on the website in this example they, they use the disk number four just change the number into the disk into your disk and mount it and then you can copy this line you have first, of course, to CD into the folder where the your uh, image is available. Then just hit enter, and this process takes about maybe ten minutes to copy all the files and 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 make it bootable. At this point, uh, you should connect the keyboard and a and monitor to your Pi or gets its IP address to SSH into it but here I already know my IP address because I set it up early uh, but I'm gonna show you real quick how to set up a static IP address on your Raspberry I think a lot of people are used to modify the network interface uh, file but now you actually have to set your IP in the file name dhcpcd.conf located under the slash etc and at the end of the file here you just uh, enter the interface uh, number, the static IP address, which is uh, your the IP you want, uh, the IP of your router, and uh, the DNS server. I'm using the Google's ones uh, right now. You can even add another one uh, if you wish, or as many as you want. Uh, we're gonna save this, and uh, you should reboot uh, your Raspberry Pi. At this point, I'm not gonna do it, but you should do it because just restarting the interface, the network interfaces, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, once you reboot your your uh, device, you can try to ping uh, any website, and it doesn't work. I have to sudo uh, pinggoogle.com, and it's replying. Uh, it's a little bit odd though that you have to sudo uh, the ping command. Uh, I found it. I found a, on the website the solution to do to 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 run it without the sudo. You see here the the, the permissions are not set correctly for some reason. Uh, so we're just gonna change that. Ch forty seven fifty five. And on the ping command, and now if I do a ping, it should work without the sudo. Good. At this point, you can disconnect your monitor and the keyboard, uh, and you can just SSH into your Raspberry for your convenience. Uh, to SSH into your Raspberry, you can just uh, type uh, in your terminal. SSH, the, the username which is pi at uh, the IP address you set, 
and uh, the default password is uh, Raspberry. All right. Uh, last thing you want to do uh, is to enter the Raspberry configuration by typing uh, raspy dash uh, config, and because we want to um, give the entire the entire available space of the, the the SD card to the OS, which is not set by default for some reason. So just sudo into the rasp-config uh, uh, rasp-config rasp and you can just hit the first option and it's gonna uh, ensure that all of the SD card uh, storage is allowed uh, is dedicated to the OS it's gonna ask you to reboot uh, your Raspberry Pi one more time now reboot it as I search into it again Not up yet. It takes a little bit of time. It should be okay now. Nope. All right, and you can check the available space on your SD, uh, the, like the disk usage, by typing df or df dash h if you wanna see it in a more human readable uh, format. So here you can see I have my thirty-two gigabyte and I have 25 available All right. finally uh, just update and upgrade the system and you are done with the basic setup alright next thing we have to install Apache uh, server, MySQL and PHP and uh, Laravel framework uh, all the commands, by the way all the commands I use uh, are available on my website which is linked in the description I wrote an article about the, the, the process uh, here uh, we're gonna go over it really quickly uh, there are many ways to do it you can install everything in one command line uh, that I, I found on this uh, website useful snippets uh, which is pretty convenient but here I'm just gonna break it down and and install Apache server first uh, now we can once it's installed uh, it takes a few time you can then check uh, on your web browser by entering its IP address It's done, Apache 2, Debian default page, perfect. Next, uh, we install MySQL. Uh, you're gonna have to enter a password for the root user. Confirm the password. And then uh, we want to install Laravel 5, right? Um, you can see on the website, uh, if you check the requirement on their website, uh, you will see that you need documentation and installation. All right, we're here. Uh, you can see that the server requirement is only PHP 5.5 or higher and a few a PHP extension which uh, we will install in only one command line uh, I'm gonna again put, you can see on, on your screen the command you need or you can grab the command on my blog I will install PHP the next thing you need uh, is Composer uh, you can just go to the website and use their download link and grab a copy of Composer for your server.
check that the composer is running when it's done. We can quickly check by pulling PHP Composer. .r. You can see it's installed. And now uh, we can install uh, Laravel. The one we I want to install it's the ver the latest version, which is at the moment five point two, I believe. Yes, five point two. Uh, but you can of course uh, install other version. Uh, for the five point two, we said early it requires the five point five or or higher. Uh, we haven't checked our PHP version, but yes, we have the 5.6 on Jesse uh, Raspbian image, so that's perfect. So now you can just install Laravel uh, through Composer. Again, uh, this uh, takes some time. I mean, it took me like an hour to install everything, I think, this morning. And you're done with the Laravel installation. Uh, we are almost done, but the last part of this uh, tutorial is going to show you how to configure correctly Apache and PHP to be able to run correctly uh, Laravel 5. So we're going to remove the default folder, which is the HTML folder on, in, under the var uh, www, because we don't really need it. All right, now we have a clear uh, WW folder. We can check nothing is here. And I'm going to be able to create a project through Composer. Or you can simply uh, use the, the, the command, the Laravel command, if you want a fresh install. But I personally like to use the Composer uh, project, uh, project creation. So we're going we're gonna to just do that. Again, this uh, takes some time, depending on your connection. And it's not going to work because we haven't finished uh, the we haven't set up correctly Apache yet. So even if you go to the Raspberry uh, slash public uh, folder, it doesn't work. But that's normal. Uh, we have a few more things to set up uh, with Apache in order to make it work. There's two configuration files to modify. Uh, before in the past, uh, everybody knows, I think, the httpd.com file uh, where you had like every Apache related configuration in only one file, but now uh, they separated it, uh, they split it into like four or five different files. So uh, we're gonna have to modify two uh, files. And also, what I like to do, but that's uh, personal, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure if that's the best practice. I'm not an expert in this area, but I want to give the ownership of all my directories and subdirectories of the www directory. I want to give the ownership to the www-data uh, user, which is the default Apache uh, user. Uh, and now I'm gonna I um, want to go to etc. Apache 2 site available uh, slash uh, oo dash defaultconf uh, In here I can change my document root, which by default now it's var www.html for some reason. Uh, I personally don't like it, so I prefer to have a, the to put it at the root of the www direct uh, directory. So now we modify the file, so we have to we have we modify the configuration, so we have to restart Apache. Uh, and if we refresh, and here we can see our uh, Laravel welcome screen. It seems that it's working, but actually you will realize that if you uh, add a new route to your route file. Uh, 
the uh, URL rewriting is not working correctly. So we're going to go ahead and, and try it. So access your uh, route file, look it in under app uh, HTTP route.php. I'm just going to make a test uh, route and if you uh, go back to your browser and type public slash test you see it's not working because the URL uh, rewriting is not working yet um, and also uh, and also we have to give the ownership again to this uh, WW data user to the folder storage and the folder vendor uh, I know some people do it otherwise but I personally do it like this you will also have to set up another user for your folder in order to be able to modify it through uh, an FTP client but it's not going to be covered in this video Maybe I shouldn't say that. And last thing, uh, we also have to enable so we can restart the server one more time. And try again. And it's still not working. Uh, why? Because there is one last thing to do. Uh, you have to enable the rewrite mode of Apache. Uh, to do so, enter this command in your terminal. Try again, it's not working because I lied. There's one more last thing to do, and I promise that's the last thing this time. You gotta go back to your uh, Apache configuration file. We should have done, uh, done it earlier, but I forgot. It's to allow override all on your uh, WW directory. All right, can I restart one last time? Hit uh, refresh our browser and we should see our welcome screen. All right, uh, thank you for listening watching uh, that was my first like tutorial on the internet so I'm sorry if the quality is not that good uh, I try to make it better next time thank you